Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable in private browsing in Microsoft Edge. So the uh, private browsing mode, you know, it, it doesn't keep any files or history. So if you have kids or other, you know, users on your computer, let's say it's at the office and you don't want people uh, browsing privately, you could turn this off for everybody on your computer. So normally when you open up Edge, you could click on the three dots and you have the in private window that starts your private browsing session and it tells you what it does here. So to disable that, we're going to do a little registry edit. So to open the registry editor, click on start, and then you know, in Cortana or the search box to start typing in registry, reg edit. And then you can click on that, say yes to the prompt. And so what you want to do is navigate to this key here, which I'll put in the description. So you can just copy and paste this right out of the description. Go in the address bar, paste it in, press enter, and it'll take you down there. So what you want to do, so it's under policies and then Microsoft and what we want to have is an edge key so if we don't have an edge key you're going to need to right click on Microsoft new key type in edge with a capital E press enter so now you have the edge key and then from there we want to right click on this new edge key and create a 32-bit D word value so right click on the edge key new D word value 32-bit paste it in there press enter and then you can just double click on it change it from the default zero to one and click OK and then you're good to go but what you'll notice most likely if you go back to edge it's still available so what you're going to have to do is either restart the computer or restart Windows Explorer so to restart Windows Explorer uh, you could right click on start for Windows 11 or right click on the taskbar for Windows 10 and then pick task manager and then you're going to scroll down and find it's usually at the bottom Look for Windows Explorer, right click on it, restart. You'll see your icons kind of disappear there and come back. So now when we go into Edge, you can see it's grayed out. So now we're going to test it with another user. So I have another user on this computer who's a local admin, Cindy. So we're going to log in as her and see what happens. Okay, let's open Edge. Now you can see, when we go there, in private window is uh, grayed out as well. Okay, so let me go back to the other user here. Okay, so once again, I'll put this in the uh, instructions. Just kind of follow the directions here. Restart the computer or restart Windows Explorer. You'll be good to go. And then if you want to delete it, Oh, if you want to enable it again, you could just double click this and change this back to zero if you want to just leave the key. Or if you just want to get rid of it completely, you could delete this whole edge key, assuming you made this. If this was already there, I wouldn't delete it. But if you made it, then you could delete it. And if it was already there, you could just delete this, this uh, value here instead. And if you can't find it, you could just copy this and then, you know, go back up to your root here and do a, and do a find and paste it in there, and then you should be able to find it, and then delete it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.